Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good, no complaints whatsoever. It's a little bit chilly but uh, we'll survive that. Now I do have some news for you and our first topic of the video, Luzugon Delego's family confirms that he lost the fight against brain cancer. The late actor Luzugon Delego's family has confirmed the cause of the actor's death, sharing with deep sorrow that the actor succumbed to brain cancer on Monday. Now Luzugo died age 36 on Monday. Now in a statement that was shared with news publication, the actor's family confirmed that he had died after putting up a good fight with stage 4 brain cancer which he was diagnosed with two years ago. The statement reads he fought a good fight until he met his untimely death on June 21. We are deeply saddened and hurt by his passing. Luzugo was love personified. He was peace, courage and strength. The family will communicate the funeral arrangements in due time. May friends and loved ones be comforted in the fact that his spirit will continue to be with us. The Ntelego family is grateful to his medical and spiritual team that supported Zugo tirelessly with his fight against brain cancer. Now tributes are definitely still flooding in on social media. From fans of Ntelego who had a very long career as an actor and featured in big local productions such as Zone 14, Mubango and Ring of Lies. Now before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Somizi's inspirational video saves a life. For those that follow Somizi on social media will know that nothing beats his weekly dosage of videos which are fun and inspirational and also educational. But apart from all of that, it does seem that one of his latest video has actually saved a life. Now Somizi posted a video saying that one user got into his DM and told him that they were about 5 minutes away from committing suicide up until they decided to go to Instagram and watch Somizi's video. So let me play that video for you guys real quick happy what's today it's thursday from gym boxing was super amazing loved it loved it loved it listen it's a hey hi oh lord can't do a video without you know just a bench yeah um happy thursday and um i hope you're feeling better than yesterday that's the aim. We feel we try to make the next day better than yesterday and make and hope tomorrow will be better than today. And um, guys, after that Tuesday video, I've received, I hardly look at my DMs because I've got a lot, but I received, I decided to go through my DMs. I read each and every one of them. You must know that. I might not have responded to anyone. I've read each and every one of them. And thank you for sharing and trusting me with your stories you know there's one person who said she was five minutes from committing suicide five minutes and decided to just go through instagram but like i don't know how and why but it happened and she was thanking me and saying thank you thank you thank you you were five minutes on time and 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 you've changed the perspective my perspective on life the outlook on life i am I've gained hope and faith and so on and so on. I'm going to find a reason to live great. And a lot of people are going through some stuff, whether it's relationships and stuff like that. And for me, guys, I am just a messenger. When it happens, I'm glad that I'm not selfish. I share. When I feel it, so this is the time for you to share. Share. I share. And, and I also share my stories. And I hope my stories will inspire you, whether good or bad, or whether I'm going through the most, or, or gaining through the most. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put one more system, or I'm going to put one more system, or whatever, whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to put one more system, or whatever, whatever. So, thank you. And let's keep on doing that. If now, wherever you are, you could be a pillar of strength to somebody else. Share your stories, or inspire, or, 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 or support, or motivate, or, or be there for somebody. That, that needs you. Be there. Don't be selfish. Right. It's a Thursday. I wish you nothing but the best.
keep on thirsting for 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 greatness thirsting for happiness thirsting for peace thirsting for health thirsting for wealth keep on thirsting it's a first day pusa there's the pusa positivity pusa pusa mm. that uncle at every function he's got the biggest base and always drunk so yes you have heard it from Sumizi himself it is thursday puza thursday go out there enjoy yourself it's actually the last day of alcohol sales goma you know tops and all that stuff so go stock up and uh, have yourself an awesome weekend our next topic the real reason Safters snubbed Katleko Mabue TV personality Katleko Mabue's career has definitely taken a huge knock since his ex and baby mama Monique Muller accused him of being unfaithful and of physically abusing her which resulted in the former Expresso presenter losing his job his sponsorship and endorsement deal Months later, he was also arrested and not seen on television again. Heck, even his change of dieting adverts of outsurance were replaced by radio presenter Elena Africa. It wasn't until about two months ago when South Africa Film and Television Awards Safters announced him as a nominee for Best TV Presenter Award that he made an unexpected comeback. But sadly, his comeback was definitely very, very short-lived as just days after making the nominees list, he was removed from it. Now, the move by the Safters the jury to rescind Katleko's nomination caused an uproar on social media. His fans wanted to know how his infidelity affected his work. Others didn't even understand why he was nominated in the first place because his cheating scandal was public knowledge and has been since 2020 when it made headlines. So needless to say, I was definitely among the people who needed answers and felt that the softers needed to kind of explain why they rescinded Katleko Mabue's nomination. Well, it does seem that after weeks of, I uh, suppose, patiently waiting, we finally have the answers. Now, according to Women for Change, a well-known anti-gender-based violence organization, more information about Gatleho and the Softest debacle has emerged. An interview clip from ENCA was posted by the organization's Twitter account, which shows Softest judging chairperson Yannette van Eerden explaining their decision to revoke the nomination. Yannette revealed that they received a lot of pressure from GBV organizations and gay organizations to remove Gatleho from the category. We've had uh, GBV um, activists tweeting about it just as much as people on the uh, Katlejo side have been tweeting about it. So um, you can look at some of those tweets from Women for Change have been quite um, vocal about it. Um, so it's not a question of um, damning him or saying this is true. It's very important that we state that. Yeah. But it's just that we are taking... Um, allegations, not allegations, but complaints oh. about putting someone who has um, issues against him that have been raised. Uh, I do think it's important in this uh, era of gender-based violence where people don't see it as something we can overlook. I think one of the most important things um, in South Africa right now is not to excuse people of gender-based violence. And we have so many issues in the media. I'm not going to mention names. You know, you're on Twitter as much as I am. Uh, believe it or not, I, I do go to Twitter and, uh, you know, all day and see the debates that are raging right now, and I won't mention names. Yes. But we cannot be seen to condone any whiff, even a whiff of it. Um, they might all be proved wrong. And uh, for Katleko's sake, I really hope they are. But we cannot... Um, put him up there um, just as a, an example that we are going to reward an example we're going to reward we yes. can't um, you know right now with those the scandals yeah. circulating rumors whatever they are yeah. um, we cannot ignore them especially when there's so many complaints from GBV organizations and even gay organizations yes. there's a huge out um, uh, backlash from them as well um, I was 
told today, which is a surprise. And in light of all of these allegations and upon deliberation, his nomination had to be removed by the awards platform. In addition to this, it was also discovered through an undisclosed organization that three women have allegedly opened sexual assault cases against the presenter. So that is the statement or the reason that they are giving. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about the reasons that Safters snubbed Katleho Mabue. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.